Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, we've got the Seattle Supersonics playing against the New Orleans Hornets. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Some teams are rolling, have had their ups and downs to the season so far, Clark. And I'm assuming some of these teams having a reality check at this point, right? I would agree with that, Kevin. I mean, coaches and executives are always thinking about their roster and looking to improve. And sometimes that requires changing things up. If your team is playing well, you're thinking about how do we make the team better. If you're not doing so well, you may be wondering, how do we make the team better? So there's always that keeping an eye on how can we become better teams. And so it's the Sonics getting on the board first. Here's LeBron, and it's blocked. It's Durant on the win. Headed by Stoudemire. Yes, that goes in. Sweet mid-range jumper for Kevin Durant. He's dialed in wherever he shoots it from. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Four-point game. Pass to Bynum. Hill kicks to LeBron. Drills it from outside. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Now here's Paul. Last game with 30 points. in the layup for two. Paul's footwork is what makes him so dangerous and close. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Stoudemire outside. That's good from Bynum on the assist by Stoudemire. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Paul. Some stance for him. He averages over 21 points a game. No good from Brand. Hornets have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Here's Stoudemire. Plays it up off the glass. You almost have to come at Stoudemire this hard inside but he still pushes past the contact. Paul looking around. Pass to McDice. Back to Paul. Nice ball movement by Seattle. No good from Durant. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's Paul. From down in the low post, it goes. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here is Hill. Taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Stoudemire right side just five to shoot Hill no good not sure what what the D was doing there clearly a breakdown you can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look Brand good nice job that time by Brand knock it down off the catch and shoot no dribble needed Durant against James and finished off by LeBron the finish was nice but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. Following the bucket by the Hornets. Paul against Hill. Pass to Peterson. Puts it up. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. It's one of the many things that Paul is known for, his ability to find open teammates. 
Ball's knocked loose and taken away by Paul. Here's Peterson. He's guarded by Hill. Peterson, that's good. Peterson's got his second basket of the game. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Trailing by four. Their last encounter was in New Orleans. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Yeah, sloppy play sabotage. I mean, they'll have to be much more focused this time around. Here's Paul following the basket by LeBron James. Hill against Paul. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. It's Richardson on the wing. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And the defense, you can't forget about Richardson from deep. His three-pointer is extremely dangerous. Here's McDice. And it's Seattle with another. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. So both teams changing it up here. So for the Hornets, their last game, a win against the Spurs. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looked so good in that one. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Find him with it. He's picked up by Brand. The shot's good from Bynum. Putting those passing skills to work. LeBron, truly a gifted passer. The Sonics leading. Ball outside. Over to the wing. This one for three. That shot is off. LeBron with some nice D. LeBron James on the wing. Going inside. And the dunk by LeBron. You know, once he takes that first step, LeBron is virtually unstoppable. Raw athleticism gives him the upper hand. Seattle is gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Come to me, come to me. Paul outside. To the middle. Now, here's Brewer. He's covered closely. Two points. That one goes. How about the Wiley Brewer showing some strength there? Impressive how he gets his shot off despite the contact. LeBron passes to Wafer. No oh, good with the triple. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Brand kicks to Boykins. To the paint. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. And the rejection by Stoudemire. At the defensive end, Stoudemire has all the tools to shut you down and turn your water off. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the first. Drops in the tray. In rhythm, quick trigger. KD at his best. Here's Wafer. Still without a basket. And that one drops for him. Five seconds left in the first. For three, Durant. It's good. Assisting on the play was Boykin. Poetry in motion. Such a smooth stroke. You assume when Durant lets it go, that three ball's going down. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Supersonics. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, guys, what do you think about what we've seen so far from the Super Sonics? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. Here is Boykins. The Hornets making the shot. The 15-footer, and it's Seattle with another. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. The Hornets trail by five. Here's Wafer. He had 10 points in the win against San Antonio. Richardson right side over Brewer. And there's another one for the Hornets. Great confidence off the catch. One of the reasons why Richardson is a go-to scorer. Brewer the pass to KD. And that one good. KD's got the lead up to five now for Seattle. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Scalabrini. Rebound by Parker. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. That's good. He makes his first shot of the game. That is super efficient, getting in deep and then taking advantage. Takes it inside. They get the rebound. Here's Scalabrini, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Scalabrini's got his first points of the game. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now, here's Durant. A 20-point game for him in the win against the Mavericks in Dallas. And he also looked to attack at the defensive end of the floor. Three steals in that game. The Hornets trail by seven. Here's Wafer. Driving the lane. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? Boykins kicks to Brewer. Durant for three. And again, Seattle with the triple. An outstanding performance from Durant so far. But you know what? That's par for the course for him. He's just a natural scorer. Here's Wafer. The pass to Wallace. Here is Bonner over Parker. Here's Wafer. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Wafer's got six points. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. They double him with Wallace. Boykins dishes to KD. The three. And there's Boykins. That's good on the assist by Durant. Boykins has got five points now in the quarter. And the Hornets call time here. And some changes here for the Hornets. Stoudemire's checked in for Bonner. James comes in for Wallace. And it's Hill in for Von Wafer. Here's LeBron. Turned in an outstanding game against San Antonio. James converts inside. How many times have we seen that? I mean, LeBron going right through and into the defense and finds a way to power through the contact as if he hasn't even been hit. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Here's Richardson. Oh, Look at that. My. oh my goodness. Watch out. And Richardson's showing you why he's a two-time slam dunk champion on that one, finishing with authority. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, they double-team KD. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. On its way from Young for two. Here's Brand. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Brand with the board and hoop. He's a monster on that glass. Hill with it. He's picked up by Paul. And Paul over to help. And here's James outside. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got three assists now in this one. 
And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, those hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Young for three. Trains the three-pointer. Young's got himself on the board with three there. You know, they don't rely on Brand for this, but he can make the quality pass from time to time. Hill looking around. Here's James. Another one falls for New Orleans. You know what? Didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. Hill against Paul. Nifty move. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Chris Paul so good at working for his points. Even if the defense is on his back, challenging him, he still finds a way to finish. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points the are coming lane. from the for the Supersonics. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. You know, I also like the fact they've been really aggressive in attacking from behind the arc. They could do a lot of damage from there tonight. Now, here is Hill. Hasn't made one yet. Stoudemire, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Yeah, I like how confident Stoudemire is in the paint. I mean, really good at getting the position he wants inside. Basket good. And that's now seven points for Elton Brand. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Outside, James. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. The Hornets shooting their first free throw of the night. No good on the technicals, so unable to pick that one up. Antonio McDice is checked in for the Sonics. Durant comes in for Earl Boykins. And then for New Orleans, Bynum's checked in, and it's Richardson in for George Hill. 135 left here in the second. That's good, and the supersonic lead is cut to just five on the basket from James. From way back there. I mean, LeBron's just showing off now. Here's Durant. And then Durant with the jam. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Paul. After Amari Stoudemire's bucket to the left wing, it's stolen by Stoudemire. Here's Richardson. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And Paul with the basket on the assist by McDice. Paul's got five points in the quarter. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Richardson kicks to Wafer. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Oh, good find by Richardson. And a smart pass. He doesn't second guess his instinct to move the ball. Ball outside. Here's Brand. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but... Also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Durant with a wide open look. And another three for Seattle. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And inside. When LeBron is engaged on defense, he's a real problem at that end of the floor, too. Terrific job changing the shot. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Supersonics. 
He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. For three, Richardson. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got assist number five here tonight. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. McDice can't hit. And so Hill bring it up for the Hornets. A two-point game. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Yet another stellar night for LeBron offensively so far. In some ways, he's just unstoppable. And they double up Paul. Katie with it. And it's Richardson. Oh! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! My goodness! Now this is impressive. Durant showing you all of that creativity with that one. Hill with it. Nothing on the board. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. And here's James outside. And another three for New Orleans. All systems are on go when LeBron has the ball behind the arc. Pass to Peterson. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Durant, no good. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. New Orleans gone 7 of 10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. And it's LeBron missing. For Seattle, they've gone 1 of 3 since starting the second half. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by McDice. McDice has got his fourth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. The grind of the NBA season wears on, but what a pleasure this year is turning out to be. Let's check out the West and see how the standings look. Taking a look at Seattle, right now they've compiled the third best record in the conference. You know, for the Supersonics, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoffs will be stiff. Hornets have gone 3 of 6 in the third quarter, 50% from the field. James. Ah, LeBron finishes inside with authority. And one of those players who will not be denied. LeBron so strong inside. KD against LeBron. McDice kicks to KD. No good on the three. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. From 17 feet out. Rebounded by McDice. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Good on the bucket. McDice has got six. Antonio McDice, man, muscular and strong, has a knack for finishing through contact. And he's not afraid of anybody. Now here's Richardson. He's got 12. Chalk up two there. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail break. Here's the three. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got assist number nine now. 
Wow, what an effort here tonight. Here's Paul. Good, nice job down low. 13 points in the game. Exceptional focus from the point guard. Paul is no stranger to having to outwork the defense. LeBron James on the wing. LeBron gathering speed. And the dunk by James. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. KD on the wing. Launches a three, and it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. Ten of 15 in the contest. Oh, that's too easy for KD. You just can't let him get a look from the corner. Now here is Hill. No scoring in this one. High post shot. And they recover it. LeBron, that's a two-pointer, and he drops that one in. And the Hornets lead by three. And the first time out of the game called for Seattle. And Seattle making a change here. Boykins checked in. Here is Durant. He's got 25. He feeds it to Brand. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Durant's got four assists in the game. The Hornets have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. The three from LeBron, and another three for New Orleans. You know, LeBron's not really known for his quick trigger, but showing you right there that he does have catch and shoot ability. Paul passes to Durant. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Hornets? Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And their passing has been great as well. Ball movement is key in getting good looks, and they've had that down tonight. That free throw, no good. I don't think you could design a better score than Durant. I mean, range from deep, the touch at the rim, excellent handle, seven feet tall. He does everything you want from your first option. Von Wafer, he's checked in for New Orleans. The Hornets have shot just one free throw, missing that one earlier. And as a team, they're down around 72% for the season. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year but just a tad worse, so not too bad. And he can't hit the second. So next trail by three. Paul passes to McDice. No good. That would have tied it. New Orleans has gone 4-6 or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. A nice shot by Wafer. You can count on Stoudemire finding the open man. We've got 155 left to play in the third. Ball outside to the right side. Here's McDice. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got assist number five here tonight. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. And James throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. We've got 128 left here in the third quarter. Paul kicks to McDice to the wing right side. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. For three, Durant. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Stoudemire the pass to Wafer. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Chris Paul picks up that one. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. First free throw is good. Some changes for Seattle. Parker's checked in for Brand. Young comes in for Antonio McDice. 
and Corey Brewers subbed in for Paul. Bonner, he's checked in for the Hornets. Scalabrini comes in for Amari Stoudemire. Here is Boykins. He has five. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. James cooking from deep. That defense has to worry so much about LeBron as a passer that it opens things up for his jump shot. Sonics trail by eight. Brewer finds KD. Crosses over, and the layup is up and in. KD's got ten points in the quarter. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And Scalabrini gets it to go. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. The Supersonics have gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Took him no time at all on that one. Young's got five. You really have to respect the mid-range game of Young. I mean, he hits it just enough to keep you honest. Here's Scalabrini, defended by Young. Scalabrini, no luck. And uh, Seattle shooting it quite well in this third quarter, 53%, and the offense is rolling. James against Durant. So smooth on the three from Durant. What can they do? I mean, that's the question. Durant finds a shot he likes, and the mechanics are efficient and tight. Practically a sure thing when he lets it fly. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for New Orleans. Why even bring it inside when you've got him on the perimeter? After that quarter, his three-point total stands at six. Back to the action in just a minute. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Sonics trail by four. Pass to Brewer. Brand with it. Fades and shoots. And it's Scalabrini with the rebound. Here's James. And right through it goes. LeBron's got 42 in the game. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. How pretty was that assist from Earl Boykin? New Orleans leading by three. Three for dishes to LeBron. And out of bounds as the Sonics gain possession. The Supersonic shooting nearly 70% from the floor. They are putting on a clinic offensively. Peterson the pass to Brewer. Shot from 12. And it's Seattle with another. And Brewer is so long. I mean, a capable scorer inside. He rises up quickly to get his shot off. Passes it to James. Another one falls for New Orleans. Uh, I understand we're seeing some high-powered offense, but you've got to put up a little more resistance than that. Come on now, look. Sit back and enjoy the fireworks. Nothing better than good offense. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Here's Brewer. They grab their own miss. Grant. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. You can't let Brand get comfortable down there. He is a major threat inside. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for James. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. What do you got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin. Well, during that last break, I heard the New Orleans Hornets coach as he addressed the team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. 
Here's Wafer. Here's Stoudemire. Makes it off the glass. And the Hornets lead by three. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Here's Stoudemire. Off target from three-point range. Seattle has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. The pass to Peterson to tie it up. Hands it from downtown. And that ties it up. Peterson, a consistent three-point shooter. He'll hurt you from range. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Out to the right wing. Here's Bonner. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Now Boykins. And the rejection by Stoudemire. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Stoudemire. Timeout called here. The Supersonics decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major. Or it could be just a slight tweak. Some changes for Seattle. Antonio McDice is checked in for Brand. Durant comes in for Corey Brewer. And Paul subbed in for Earl Boykins. And then for New Orleans, Bynum's checked in, and it's LeBron in for Bonner. From deep three-point land. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Here's Richardson. It's blocked. Here's Young. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you know, I think Young has always done a good job of creating contact to make a living at the free throw line. That's a nice skill to have. That one is off. Eldon Brands checked in for Antonio McDice. And New Orleans also making a change. Stoudemire's checked in. And you know, as good as Young can be in the open court, doesn't quite carry over to his free throw shooting. And Hill, the bucket on the assist by LeBron. James has got his third assist on the night. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for Seattle. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Drills the three-pointer. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Pass to Hill. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Here's Peterson. And the wide-open shot from Paul. And another three for Seattle. A big bucket at a critical time. Chris Paul, not going to leave it up to anybody else. He wanted that shot. James looking around. That's good, and the Seattle lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Richardson. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. Antonio McDice is checked in for the Sonics. The Supersonics have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Ball against Hill. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got five points now in the quarter. An incredibly hard guy to guard. Paul has such confidence in his handles. That ball's on the string with him. Here's Stoudemire. Peterson grabs the miss. 
Sonics leading by three. Here's Durant. Great D that time from James. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Yep, that one goes in there. Really amazing concentration by Hill in a big moment. He has a lot of confidence in himself. That's obvious. Ball against Hill. Now here's Paul. D right on him. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Here's Richardson. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his fourth assist in this one. And the D has no answer for Richardson so far. He's getting whatever kind of shot he wants. And that one drops. Paul's got 11 points in just the second half. The Hornets trail by three. He'll find Stoudemire. It's back to Hill. Misses the three. Seattle has gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Here's Durant. Oh, and he points it off the glass. Wow. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Supersonics will retain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Paul for three. Another three for Seattle. This is when some players pull in and tighten up a bit, but if you're talking about CP3, this is when it becomes fun for him. James, no stopping LeBron there. There is no doubt about who they were going to on that one. Of course not. LeBron coming through. And it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Durant. The Hornets trail by four. Here's LeBron. It's in! And he has brought them to within two points. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. And uh, Seattle shooting wonderfully up to this point. 67%. All up top. He's guarded by Hill. Well, Paul's got him dropping right now for sure. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now here's LeBron. Pass to Richardson. Shoots the three. Got it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hands the three. And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. Can't waste any time here. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick pop. Hill kicks to James. Connects again. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And they sent the wrong guy to the line here. Paul tends to make the most of every trip he takes to the strike. Two possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're trailing by four. 16 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. And so it's New Orleans with it. 
Well, they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. And night in and night out, you know, McDice provides a bunch of energy. He's an athletic big guy who does a little bit of everything for you. Those guys are hard to find, but always valued. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. That ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those freebies. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're trailing by four. Just four seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? I mean, it's iffy that there's enough time to even get a quick shot and a foul. I agree with you. Time is not on their side, but that's really their only hope. So I'm sure that's what they'll try to do. Here's Richardson. No good on the quick three. So it's a narrow victory for the Sonics pulling out the W. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.